In this video, I'll demonstrate surface blend and surface offset tools. Here, I have two circles. I'm going to extrude these circles using the surface extrusion option. So I'll click on extrude in the surface tab and I'll select both circles and I'll give a height of extrusion of 15 units. I'll change the visual style to shaded with edges. Then I'll take a bottom view Next, I'll erase the two circles. So I'll give erase command and select these two circles using a standard window. Now give enter. If you do not erase these circles, you will be picking on these circles instead of picking the edges of the surfaces. Now I'll click on the blend tool. It will ask you to select the first surface edge, which is this circle edge. Then give enter. Select the second surface edge, which is the edge of the inner circle and give enter. Now give one more enter to go out of the surface blend command. Here you can see that the software has connected these two edges with the surface. Now let's connect the top edges using the surface blend tool. So I'll orbit the view to get a top view. Now I'll take a copy of these two surfaces and I'll keep it at a certain distance. Now I'll apply the blend tool on the top edges. So I'll click on blend. I'll select the outer edge, give enter. Select the inner edge, give enter. There is an option called bulge magnitude. I'll click on that. Now I'm asked to give the first edge bulge magnitude. I'll give the value one and I'll give enter. Now I'm asked to give the second edge bulge magnitude. I'll give the value 10 and give enter. Then one more enter. Now you can see that the blend surface has got certain bulge which is controlled by the bulge magnitude parameter. And I've also specified two different values for the first edge and second edge bulge magnitude. Now I'll apply the blend tool on the top edges here. I'll click on blend, select the first edge, give enter, select the second edge, give enter, now I'll click on the bulge magnitude parameter. I'm asked to give the first edge bulge magnitude. I'll give 10 here for the first edge. And for the second edge, I'll give the value one. Now give enter. So this is how this bulge will appear. So based on the values given to the bulge magnitude parameter, you can alter the shape of blend surfaces. You can also control the shape of blend surfaces using grip editing for that. Just click on the blend surface. You will get two grips here. The first grip is corresponding to the outer edge and the second one is corresponding to the inner edge. So click on this grip. Here you have three options, position G0, tangent G1 and curvature G2. If you click on curvature G2, it's a slightly different shape. Similarly, if you select the inner grip and change it to curvature G2, there is a slight change in shape. Similarly, I'll just click on this blend surface, click on this inner grip and change into position, there is a slight change in shape. Next, I'll introduce you to the surface offset tool. I'll click on the planar surface, pick the first corner here. When I'm asked to specify the opposite corner, I'll give at the rate means with respect to the first point 15 comma 7. So I've specified this in relative coordinate method. Now the planar surface is created. Next, I'll go to extrude and select this planar surface and give enter. Now I'll simply pick a point to specify the height of extrusion. You can also give a numeric value if required. Next, I'll click on the surface offset tool. I've picked the surface, give enter. Now you can see arrows pointing outwards. That means the parallel surface will be created in the outward direction. Now I'm asked to specify the offset distance. I'll give the value one and enter. Now you can see that you have created a parallel surface. Next, I'll right click and repeat the surface offset and select the extruded surface, give enter. Now the arrows are shown outward. This time I would like to perform an offset inside. So click on flip direction option. Now I'm asked to give the offset distance. I'll give the value two. Now it is offsetted inward. So using the surface offset tool, you can offset a surface the way you offset an object in AutoCAD. So that's all about the concept of blend surfaces and offsetting a surface. In the next tutorial video, I'll introduce you to 
special type of surfaces called nerve surfaces. We will see the method to create and edit these surfaces.